Welcome, everybody. We're going to be going over the map enhancement for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. I've been getting uh, quite a few questions about it and some error is issues and some errors. Uh, I just want to go over to the latest version, which is 7.0.7. .7. That is the latest version, and uh, the UI has changed. Uh, the last time I did an update video on the software was back in, I believe, July. So it's been over six months. And the UI has changed again, uh, and it keeps they just keep refining it, making it better, and making it more uh, polished and nicer, shinier. I don't know what terminology to use for it, but it doesn't look bad. I actually kind of enjoy it. <clears throat> Sorry about that. But yeah, this is the website you would go to. You would go to flightsim.to. I'll have the link in the description or below of the location of grab this. Uh, you see right here the the newest update. It came out a month ago. Uh, you just download it from here. It'll come in a, a, a raw file, uh, and so you can un well you can come in a zip file and use raw. I use uh, WinRAR to uh, unzip it and then kind of just install from here. So it's very very simple, uh, like three step install. Not much you need to do. So and then once you're done installing it, you should come up with this. Now come up with that. Came up with a warning screen. I don't know. Uh, okay, anytime. There it is. All right, and that's what it'll come up with. It would come up. But the thing is, all right, so it doesn't do it right now. There have been times where if I, like, uh, let's see if I can replicate it. Uh, and it doesn't want to load now. There it is. So if you. Open up the software and start it immediately. It'll come up with a backend start server start failed. So what that means is you uh, you start the program up. You immediately hit start. It fails. You did not allow it enough time to establish the uh, the capability of it to hit the port it needs to hit. So all you have to do is hit OK. Hit it again. It'll work just fine. So you you basically you you went faster than it can think. Uh, so it may, and it's, it's calm. I've ran into it a few times. It's not a big deal. It's just, it, it, it has to get access. It needs to go out to the internet before uh, and get its access port. So that's all it needs to be or all it, that you need to do is just wait about, I don't know, 10 seconds, if that. So, uh, the maps, they, they added more map servers, uh, but the only problem is I see with it now is that there's a pros and there's no pros. So what it is, is the pros you have to, uh, the pro versions, you have to have a license to use. You don't need the license. There is a regular right here, Google map servers without pro. It may be lower quality than this, but it's still better than the Bing that's in the sim. Uh, I can promise you that it is it's just fine. Then you have uh, the Bing Maps, the latest version of Bing Maps, Arcs GIS, Mapbox. Then you have the Google Maps Server Pro, Apple Pro, Apple Map Pro, China HD, and whatever this is Pro. I don't just ignore that. I highly recommend don't using that. And then the Mapbox Pro. So yeah, these are the servers. I highly recommend just using the Google Maps server. I have been have had no issues with it at all. So, yeah. Then you have this little star, uh, this little button up here that actually gives you the light mode or dark mode. I prefer the dark mode. And then uh, later down the road, they are going to add where you can put custom maps into the sim. Uh, that could be interesting. I don't know how that would be used, but, I mean, we'll figure that out down the road. And then you have troubleshooting. You have the, where you can get your frequently asked questions, which is right here. And then you have your whoops, updates. You can update the software through here. Don't ask me how you do it yet, because I still yet to figure it out how to do it through here. But well, oh well. Unless you just download this, right? I think you would just download this this file here. But and then you have the license now, so you can purchase a license. I don't recommend you do that because you really don't need it. Uh, and then you can just put your, they'll have your information here so you have access. And I believe this would then give you the access to the pro versions of the maps. Like I said, you don't need it. I don't use it. 
and I've been just fine. And then to the settings, you can uh, to put you can actually set this the program to start up when you get into when your operating system or your computer boots up. Don't recommend it. it uses resources. If your computer is not very strong, like if you have an eight or sixteen gigs of RAM, don't do it. You're just going to take away from that those resources. Save it. Uh, keep it disabled so that only time you turn it on is when you're in flight sim. It's the only time you need it. You can set the game store. So if you bought the game in, say, Steam or Microsoft Store, like me, I bought it in Steam. So it's just going to stay that way. Uh, so you have your map options. So the LOD, high LOD, is a higher resolution tiling. And it also merges or blends together other tiles that are lower resolution. So it gives you a uh, cleaner look on the map itself, uh, but it does take up a lot of bandwidth. So recommended only to use this if you have fast internet, like 400 or 1 gig internet. 400 meg or 1 gig internet is, about, uh, is probably what you're going to need, at least within that area. So there's Mapbox. You can get a token to put in here so you can pull ma uh, the tiles from Mapbox. I don't know if I like it. I mean, Mapbox, if you use too many tiles, like right here it says if you use 200,000 tiles, it's free. Anything over 200,000, you're going to get charged. I don't know if they cut you off at 200,000 or if they let you go over 200,000 and they just bill you later. If they do, that's I would call, almost call that as a scam because I, I would love to hit 200,000 and just completely stop. At least that would make more sense to me. But, I mean, I don't use Mapbox, so it's not a big deal to me. Now, for cache options, I would recommend enabling cache enabled if, only if you have the storage available on your computer. Uh, I know I have, a, I have a pretty beefy system, so I have the dedicated uh, M.2 that is just for cache only. It's not a big M.2, but, I mean, and there's other stuff on that M.2, but it's more of a storage, uh, the storage drive for me. So, um, but yeah, this would help uh, on keeping the cache, rolling cache on your server or on your server, on your computer so that your computer doesn't always have to download, redownload files. Because as soon as you close this program and flight some out, you lose the entire cache. So then when, if you fly in the same spot again the next day, you're redownloading the cache. So that when, um, when you get back in it, if you have this enabled, It'll just pull from your computer without going to the internet, which means it'll load much faster into your uh, into your session, and it'd be a lot better. In doing so, also make sure you disable Microsoft Flight Simulator rolling cache in the actual flight simulator. You want to disable that so that you actually uh, you're not conflicting with the Bing inside of Flight Sim and uh, with this third party software. So make sure you do that. Just follow the instructions like it says on the screen, and you'll be just fine. And then just mark the enabled cat or cache enabled, and then you'd be great. You can change the location too of where you want to put the cache as well. And then you can also change the size. So like zero means unlimited. I want this thing to store all the satellite information as I, as possible on my system, so I don't have to use as much internet. So it's not pulling up bandwidth or dropping my bandwidth. Proxies. Proxies are going to be used uh, for. If you're in an area or a part of the world that you can't pull the data from, so you have to basically, in a sense, kind of VPN uh, and another way of saying it. So you can get the data in. Uh, I don't have any issues with it since I'm in the U.S. So, I mean, I don't, and most people probably won't use the proxy, honestly. And then you have your privacy, which uh, allow collecting anonymous logs to a remote server. Uh, I don't uh, know. So I don't want people pulling data. I'm the person I don't, I like my, I don't like providing data that could be mine against me. So I always uncheck this. Like I just installed this new version, a uh, newer version. Cause I didn't even know 7.07 0, 7 was out. So I, yeah, this was already marked. So I usually unmark it because I, I, they don't need to know anything about me. Cause yeah, I don't know what they're pulling. That's at least my opinion. And then you have your channel updates. Highly recommend just using the latest stable version. Don't worry about the beta or the alpha version. Just use the latest stable version. 
So that is uh, that's going over the software, and it's a pretty it's a pretty nifty software. It's made the actual sim look a lot better than what the the actual uh Bing so the Bing map shows in the flight sim uh, since uh, with the stock, and I'm pretty sure that's an old stock uh, satellite imaging they're using in the sim. That's why they have the third party stuff, so you can pull from other sources, make it look more authentic, make it look more immersive. It's not bad. I like it. So I hope everyone enjoyed this little update video. And uh, I hope you, I hope it helps everyone out with the questions uh, about this. If you have uh, about the actual software, but if you have any other questions, go ahead and feel free to drop a uh, question in the comment section. If you like what you hear, uh, what you're seeing, go ahead and also like the video and uh, spread the word. Uh, I like using the Google Maps stuff. That's always been, it's helped me out a lot and made the stuff look really good. So um, I hope everyone has a great day. Uh, there will be future videos I will be doing. I also do flight sim, li like live flight sims, uh, live flights in the sim on my channel. I also do other stuff on my channel as well. Just feel free to hit that subscribe button. Thank you much.